people to, to spend more. Subscription, does anyone recognize the guy? He's the builder from uh, uh, Clash of Clans. The point of this is the builder ha has a very specific way of working. If you spend your hard currency on this guy, you will only get the benefit from him if you then keep coming back to the game very often. So it drives both retention and uh, monetization. Build stuff that, that uh, makes people come back to your game a lot in order to get the value out of that. The IKEA effect. Uh, this is to say, stuff that we put work into, we value more highly. Uh, you know, IKEA really sells you cardboard stuff, it's shit. But you value it still somehow slightly higher because you actually built it yourself. Uh, the model over here is from a, a psychology book called Hooked, how to build a, a hooking products. Uh, this is how we build, build habits. Uh, there's a trigger to remind us to do something, then we go do an action, we get the variable reward, just like the gachas, we, we get uh, the lottery ticket, and then, to really hook it down, we need to ask people to do something for us, do a little bit of work, because then they become emotionally attached to that. And then we set up the, the next trigger, either internal or external. I, external trigger mean, means uh, really a, a notification in, in our case. Internal to that people have in their minds that, you know, I started building uh, uh, that tower or I planted pumpkins, that means I need to come back in eight hours. So that's the trigger. And then we go, go round and round and, and we have the habit. Anchoring is fun. Anchoring means that when we don't know the price of stuff, the first price we hear suggested for it becomes our anchor, and then we compare everything to that. Uh, for instance, an iconic example, black pearls. Black pearls, when they first came on the market, no one wanted them because they're dull and black and don't look very nice. Uh, they were the guy who had them uh, told his, his um, summer trainee or whatnot to, to just dump the price of them and get rid of them. Uh, the summer trainee understood it wrong and actually hiked the price by 50% 50, uh, 50 or 100%. And then suddenly they beca became uh, these objects of desire. Uh, even more um, special, I think, is this. If I ask all of you to write down the last two digits of your social security number, and then I have an auction, like, uh, imagine this is a fancy bottle of wine, and you get to bid on auction here. The people like me, my last two digits in my social security number are 99. I'd bid a higher price on this than the guys who, who have, uh, like, 10 or 0, 0.5. Just because I wrote down a high number on a paper will anchor my, my thinking on, on what goes next. So how to use this in a game? Some games, immediately uh, when you're in, in the tutorial, they suggest to you, you should buy this good IAP for 50 euros or, or something like that. I, I go like, oh, that's expensive, I'll never do that. Of course, no. And I expect them to say no. Then again, I come back, back like... Uh, a few se sessions later and suggest they buy it for, for 15. And I will say, that's a good value, because my anchor was at 50. Social proof. Uh, so this is, we are herd animals, we tend to do what all, all of the others do. Uh, you all sit quiet listening to me, because that's what all, all of the other guys do, do here. So, uh, especially when people are similar to, our, to us, this means that uh, you should have uh, the socially accepted way of behaving in your game should be paying. You want to tell pe people, for instance, their when a clan member of theirs spend IAP money, you want the whole clan to know, because then that becomes the socially acceptable way of behaving. Uh, you by absolutely do not want.
want to tell them that the majority of people in your game never spend money. That's poison. Never tell them that. Availability means that the stuff we hear a lot about is the stuff we judge as uh, likely to happen. This, for instance, can tie into gotchas. Uh, if there are rare gotchas, not every player will see them every session. That's like the definition of rare, which means that they will think that it's not likely to happen that they get one of those, which means that you should tell them about it, which means every time a clan member gets one of the rare things, you should broadcast it to, to all of the others, like your friend got this rare or legendary thing. Then they will judge it more, more uh, likely. The right amount of choice, this is a, a famous a jam experiment. Uh, they put up a stall in a supermarket with 20 different jams. Uh, you know, the ta have a taste here, then, then you, you have a, a discount, go buy some. And then they had a control group who had only five jams to taste. Now, for the one with 20, a lot of people stopped by and tasted the jams, but for the one with six, a lot more people bought because they, they know that that's the best one, that's the one I want. If there are 20, there's too much choice, we just get, get anxious, we choose nothing. There's a bunch of data on... Uh